Und hier im Knust, habt ihr ja gerade gesehen, es ist schon ziemlich viel los. Und hier aus Belfast, die Outcasts. Hallo. 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 So, uh, how do you came here to Hamburg? How was the story out Well, we were playing with the, with the racers in, in Düsseldorf, was it? No, Dresden. Dresden, yeah. And we sat up having, having a few late drinks and it was their idea to bring us over as a, a special guest. We also met them in Rebellion, so um, we talked about it then as well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. So well, I heard uh, when you started the band, it was a little bit a band of uh, three brothers. This is your history. That's yes. true, yeah. yeah. Many, many years ago. Many years ago. 40 yeah. years ago. And you put your, are you still the three brothers or changed? No, um, one, of the brothers is, one of my brothers is dead. Oh. Just me and Greg left. He was killed in a car crash in 1982. Okay. Um, I heard uh, you had the name, you were uh, something like the bad boys of the Ulster punk scene. Um, well, to start, we, before we were the, the band, the outcasts, um, Colin, the, the brother yeah. who died, he said we were the outcasts because um, they wouldn't let us in anywhere, because we used to have to pay a lot of trouble and all that in those days. Okay. I don't know why, but it just happened. Okay, so uh, how you see, uh, you have now 14 years of punk. Well, how do you feel the, the changes will happen in this uh, time of uh, punk rock? Oh, with us, nothing has changed because <laughs> we're still playing the same songs as we were 40 years ago. It's well, we had quite a large gap. 30 years, nearly 30 years. Nearly 30 years. Play well, for. yeah, about 28 year, eight year gap. And when we came back and started playing again, well, 
it's 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 sort of almost easier now because all the bands are back playing and there's like a circuit you can go and join and it's just so much fun to play you know we really enjoy b- being play playing again now and plus when you're an old when, when you're an old man like me what else would you be doing <laughs> sitting to ken <laughs> do you speak irish <laughs> well, then you're gonna understand nothing i say no Stooges song, this is called 1969. Well, all right. You have to remember that during the troubles when we when we started we were sort of isolated in ireland on our on our own you know uh very few english bands came came to play so we were like a separate thing on our on our on our, our own we were never part of the the real english english movement we we developed on our own and developed our own sound Seventies. 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 Yeah, the seventies and then the eighties. At the time, uh, the the whole thing with uh, free uh, alternative Ulster and free Ulster and. Uh, well, well, we we never really bothered. 
because we actually played in Ulster during the, during the troubles, we didn't want to be political. You know, we we wanted to play to people. And, this, and, it, and it seemed the songs that I, I wrote all the songs, and my songs were about personal experiences and, sto and stories that that happened to me and happened to people I knew. So I didn't write about political stuff. I wrote about people and what happened to them, and incidents that happened in my life. Well, our, new, our new album is just a collection of the older songs, you know, it's just, yeah, we don't have any new, any new albums yet. Well, I can't help thinking that's our job now, you know, you are an old band, and when we, we didn't play a lot first time, first time round, so I think we, we kind of owe the audience to do the songs that they want to hear. I mean, when you're a young band and you're and you're right to change the world and stuff, you know, and you've new you've new material, but we play for the fun for ourselves and, and we want the audience to enjoy themselves. So, and we're very proud of the whole songs. We like to play them. No problem. Yeah.